Hello beautiful people and welcome to Matt Bayeski YouTube channel. Beautiful people you are and always will be and forever more. You are truly amazing. It's such a beautiful day to be here. I've answered as many emails as I possibly can. Um, a lot of you are asking me about Bessonids hedgehogs talk, to talk about them and I said okay. Seeing as though we did uh, a raffle which will be on Sunday at six o'clock for a nice piece of Bessonids I have over here somewhere. Just at the moment I'm working on um, my latest collection of Moldavite trios. They're on the table there. I've actually finished working with them now so they'll be up on uh, mattbayeski.com hopefully within the next few hours. Uh, they are beautiful, uh, incredible. But today we'll talk about hedgehogs and um, Bessonids hedgehog. When I first was introduced to a Bessonese hedgehog, um, I received a little, little tiny piece. It was given to me by a very, very wealthy uh, client who wanted me to uh, feel the crystal. I thought she was just giving it me just to have a feel because I said, oh, I've never seen the hedgehog before. I'd heard about them. And um, I remember the moment I actually touched a piece. <laughs> this is a big piece. So this is, um, again, uh, a perfect hedgehog. And if I was to turn this around and show you, you can see maybe the color and the difference. Can you see that color? Okay, see the coloration of it? Divine. You see through it, you can see the little hedgehog type specimen there. Gorgeous, gorgeous piece. They're, they're like gold dust. So as you can see here, it's a completely different shading, okay? Because it's not in the sun, but as I'm looking at it, it's vibrant, it's beautiful. It's like a little hedgehog. You can see why they call it hedgehogs. And this one is a chime. So it, uh, they call them angel chimes or chimes. So they sound like a little chime and some, um, uh, Moldavites don't chime, some do, and the ones that do, certain people love them and want them and desire them far more than the normal. Me, every um, Moldavite piece is divine in its own right. It doesn't matter where it comes from. In the Czech Republic, they all come from one source, which is the meteorite, which was from another world. So this is Anyway, this is the hedgehog that we talk about. I remember receiving a piece of hedgehog which was about this size, about that size, okay? And it was very thin, but it was a hedgehog. And um, I remember my client who was uh, from, I think um, it was Iran or Kuwait, somewhere like that. Um, she brought me a piece after I gave her a, a full session, healing session and a reading. She asked me to hold it and I held it between my um, thumb and finger and um, I could instantly feel a, an awakening or a kind of feeling like my third eye was shooting open and then I kind of felt my stomach gurgling and I said, wow, this is really interesting. And we talked about it and it's a bit like the, um, the beads. When you hold the beads in your hand, they activate certain parts of your body. Well, Moldavite triggers that energy. So when you're holding a piece of, a beautiful piece of hedgehog, it has this trigger energy and it's incredible. It's very unique. Uh, I don't really know many other crystals that do that. Tektite has a similar effect, but it's more an absorbing of negative energy when you're holding a tektite. But it has that kind of little uh, uh, indentations on certain, um, uh, these are, um, as you can see, little pieces of tectite. So certain pieces of tectite have this little, I can't see that many here, but sometimes they have these little tiny little bits that these are polished, so it's difficult to show you. Maybe if I show you these, these are tectites, which are going to be part of the healer tectites for um, trios. So as you can see, see how they've, they've got the grooves, indentations and cavices 
And when you squeeze them, they're very similar to the beads. So, with the Bessonites, they are, they basically look like little hedgehogs and they've got these little tiny, you can see spikes everywhere. And when you place your thumb and finger on them and you meditate, or if you take the little piece and lay it on your forehead, you can feel the indentations. It's quite amazing. And it's funny, but we talk about acupuncture. We talk about, um, <laughs> some people even talk about these beds with nails. People used to think they were crazy, but now they realize that the bed with nails, when you lie on them, they activate certain parts of your body. It's incredible. So I think the hedgehog has that ability to do that when you lay on certain parts of the body or when you hold it in your fingers. Um, also, if you put it here and hold it like this, again, it does the same thing. But I remember sat down meditating because uh, she said, do you like it? I said, it's incredible. My uh, the, the hairs on my head were standing up, I remember. Even to this day, I was shocked at Hedgehog. And I said, wow, is, it, is Hedgehog because it feels like your hairs all stood up like a hedgehog. And she laughed and she says, isn't it amazing how it makes you feel? And I said, yeah, it's like your hairs on your body stand up when you are holding a piece of hedgehog. And she said, that's my gift to you. So that was my first piece, which was about, I think maybe 15, 15 years ago, something like that. It was a long time ago. And as I was holding that hedgehog for the, for the, at least six weeks I'd hold that hedgehog all the time and it'd be in my fingers and I would then start to do some terrific work with helping people open up clear cleanse heal themselves so I used to have this little tiny hedgehog like this but about this size okay and I'd simply lay on top of the third eye on top of the forehead or if it was a client who was going through deep trauma and stress or anybody who was suffering um, like work, work uh, bullying, I'd ask them to just tip their head slightly to one side and lay it just on their temples. I also used to uh, place uh, this little tiny piece when anybody came in and who, were f who was always frightened and who was always pulled down and, and they never had the, the ability to speak up, I would always lay it on their throat and so on. Clients who come with heartbreak had lay on the heart. Anybody who came uh, because they had shock in their life, something really bad, bad happened. So I'd put it on their stomach to heal their stomach and strengthen their stomach. Bessonites for me, over the period of the six weeks of, of holding it and working with it, I realized that this crystal was unique from any other crystal I'd worked with. It was unique because it could, it could work on targeting so many different aspects of the, the, the spiritual, uh, the emotional and the physical. And I realized no other uh, uh, crystal can do that. And of course it's not a crystal, but you know, it's, it is to me the most divine crystal in the world, whether you believe you want to call it a crystal or a piece of glass or a meteorite, doesn't matter. It is, it is something that holds unique energy and it tends to, it, it's like, um, uh, it's like a computer that can analyze and at the same time uh, fix any issue and problem. Um, was I doing good work there? I was doing some really good work with Maldivite. There was one point where I was so busy that I was being asked to go to different countries because I was specifically working with Moldavite constantly. I'd have like two or three pieces around my neck, depending on uh, where the Moldavite was from. Um, I always had a, a teardrop. A teardrop was normally a big piece, uh, which I would work with in my hand and use my other hand. I'd have one piece that would always come out of my pocket, which was um, normally a hedgehog or something which was very flat. Uh, and may have come from Clum or wherever, but I always had at least one to three pieces. What I started to do with Moldavite, I started to work with Moldavite in certain ways that I realized that um, for me, I was getting comfortable with the Moldavite going to certain places. 
which meant that not only was the healing taking place from the Moldavite, but whatever healing was coming through from the universe or from angels or spirit guides or whatever you believe they are, people, their family and spirit, whatever energy was pouring and healing them was now being transferred into the Moldavite. So the Moldavite had now not only the healing energy of the crystal itself, but now it was receiving healing energy from the spirit world. That's why pure energy healing working crystals on markbyeski.com are every single piece on this table and all on my website have been worked on in that manner. So if I'm sat with clients, if I'm working with clients, if I am working um, on, on a, a level of um, you're a, a thousand miles away and I attune into you, once I've finished sending that healing to you, the same energy as I've hold that as I held that crystal is now in that crystal. So every crystal I work with on this table has the energy of pure energy healing. It's in this room, the energy in this room, the energy in uh, our office where we cleanse and clear and put singing bowl energy into there. We work on that energy to heighten the crystal so it's at its highest most powerful and it retains memory of pure energy healing from the other worlds this crystal in my humble opinion is one where uh, it has a double-edged sword and um, this crystal has become so um rare so wanted so needed and also is now becoming copied so you have to be careful but because of all of those reasons they're becoming more and more expensive and you can't really genuinely find a piece of um a hedgehog besanitz in this kind of quality uh, cheap at all not not at all and it's impossible and a lot of people say i wish i could afford uh, but I can't and I understand that completely especially now when the world's becoming more and more tighter and we're losing our businesses and, and, and businesses drying up because of one thing or another we know um, so it is a challenge so what I did the other day was I just thought okay well you know you might not be able to aff afford a piece of uh, genuine authentic um, Bessonese hedgehog Moldavite so what I did was I took one of my favorite pieces and which is here this divine little piece and uh, can you see that it's absolutely beautiful and I said okay what I'll do is I'll put it up for a raffle so all you need to do is go to uh, and I said lemon house and um, just place any order, whether it's an ebook, a book, whatever, whatever you want, a crystal, a little. Um, uh, they have some of my crystals on there, which are uh, Moldavite, small, tiny Moldavites, which are beautiful and powerful, uh, or any of the crystals that I've worked with on there. And anything, any purchase you make on Lemon House gets you a ticket. So you will be in the draw. So those tickets now are coming over here into a jar and whether it's 10 or 20 people uh, that purchase them, I will make the raffle on Sunday at six o'clock and I'll choose one of those names and you will receive a genuine, authentic museum piece, Bessonese Hedgehog. Um, I think that's it really. I've got a lot of work to, to do today. Um, I'm working on, uh, as you can see, uh, these, which are my next uh, set of uh, 2021 um, trios. So these trios are gonna be slightly smaller, as you can see, they've all been polished, so I'm working my way through them. And then I work my way through uh, these beauties, which are, as you can see, Herkimer Diamonds from New York so I go through each of them and look at them and then think okay which will which will mount beautiful with that and that and then I get a piece of Moldavite and I, all the Moldavites are over there and I put them together and see which ones would fit together to um, produce something as beautiful as this so then they get sent off to ballet they get mounted up with the um, 
the Herkimer, the Moldavite and the Tektite, and that's how they come to you. These are going on the website today. Uh, they will be hopefully on today at some point, or at least a few of them. And that's my day. That's what I'm doing. Think I need a shave. I think I need to, um, uh, when I get so intense into the work, there's nothing to stop me. So I end up not being shaving for a week. <laughs> But this is my work, it's my love, it's my passion. And uh, for every person who's ever bought a pure energy healing working crystal, I think you might uh, agree that there is a lot of love and a lot of energy and healing that is within those crystals that I put in daily uh, for the past 16 years now. So I hope you enjoy that. So I'll leave the link below. I'll just leave one link, which will be Lemon House. And I'll say it one more time. All you need to do is make any purchase off Lemon House that purchase will be turned into a ticket, which will then come to me and I'll put it into a bowl over there. I think I've got about eight. So there's a, there's only a few people who have uh, who's bought something. So the chances are it could be you uh, who's winning it. So um, get yourself over there, make a purchase. If one purchase gets you one ticket and then the ticket will have your name on and then it'll go into this jar over here. And then on Sunday at six o'clock, I will pull out the name of the winner and it could be you and uh, yeah imagine that having your very first Moldavite which is a genuine authentic hedgehog I mean from Besson it's it's a, a dream come true all right guys take care have a beautiful day let me get back on with work and to, later today keep your eyes out on mattbyeski.com and uh, type in Moldavite trios on shop and uh, this there should be some coming up today enjoy take care